Welcome to uh, Edge Blade Works. So uh, this, this video I'm doing right now is for Jimmy McIntyre. James, this is for your son, Jimmy. Appreciate you guys, man. Anyways, this video that I'm doing for him is uh, he was asking me what I was doing and stuff. And uh, right now I think it's about five o'clock in the morning. And last night we sprayed these. This is Johnny Suede's Harley. And then we got the part for the exhaust hanging here. And then the new handlebars. I made these handlebars and they're just T-bars. And then uh, the exhaust is all done. <clears throat> Everything's dry. And what we're doing today is we gotta weld a little bit right here. Get this T-saw welded in. So this is ready for paint. So we gotta get it in primer. And the other side needs to be puttied on the bottom. A little bit of putty and this, all this putty will get sanded off. And then this is the Evil Knievel bike that, that we're working on. And this is gonna be a red, white, and blue Evil Knievel uh, theme bike. And then this is gonna be a cool little project. <clears throat> and uh, I was messing with this and I found all these dents in here. So all these will be putty because on the motorcycle tanks, it's really hard to get any dents out without using a stud puller, but you don't wanna be using the stud puller because you have to weld on it. And the tank's usually full of gas when they come to you. So that'd be a bad deal, blow yourself up. And uh, Lucky Mats, Lucky Mats Blocks. Check them out on YouTube and on Instagram, Lucky Mats. And uh, he sends me these uh, acrylic blocks and you can see the acrylic right there. They're awesome. And uh, I'm using those right now. These are the, the struts that go on the uh, rear fender. These are for Johnny Swade's bike. And I have a little bit of putty that I gotta pull out of these holes. But I'm using the Lucky Mats blocks right now to get these uh, sanded out and nice and flat. And that way they'll be nice and smooth when we're done. And then these are gonna go into primer and then paint. They'll be flat black or satin black. <clears throat> and then all this, uh, putty that's on Johnny Swade's bike. This will be sanded off. It had a big, huge dent right here. And then on the side, the reason we puttied all this is uh, it had the Harley Davidson decals. And the clear coat on these are so thick that when you uh, take a grinder and grind off that decal, you end up having to put some putty on it because it ends up, uh, you know, leaving a big divot in the side of the tank. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this tank's almost ready for primer today. And that's what we're doing. We're doing primer all day today. Uh, the back fender, there's a whole bunch of dents right here. All this putty is going to get sanded off. So by the time we're done, there will be a little spot about that big with uh, putty. But it's faster just to put a little bit more putty on there and sand it all off on the floor. And you can see what I'm talking about. This is all sanded off on the floor right here. And this is uh, Johnny Swade's front fender for his Harley. And there was a big dent right here. We beat it out, hammered and dollied it out, got it nice and smooth. And then we're putting some putty over this. And uh, this is just a quickie paint job on this thing, so we're not spending a bunch of time on uh, hammer and dolly work, which is kind of crappy, but uh, we have to have this thing ready for a bike show in February, and you know February is right around the corner, just a couple more days, and we have another Harley to build for the show, so we're trying to hurry up and get this one done, so we can have both bikes at the bike show. But anyways, I figured I'd show you what I'm doing, Jimmy. <clears throat> uh, I'll keep you guys updated on the uh, Evil Knievel bike and on Johnny Swade's Harley, and when I get over to the shop today sometime, I'll uh, show you uh, the progress that he made on his frame, getting the motor in it and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.